In this video, I'm going to share with you the 12 Disney Princess Pez, at least the modern versions of them, that exist. And when I say modern, that's the Pez dispensers with feet. I'm going to count up the Disney Princess Pez based on the year that their movies were released. So first off, we're going to start with the Snow White movie and that was released back in 1937. And the movie is actually called Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I mean, if you're a Disney fan, you're going to know this stuff, but you might not know about the pest dispensers. <laughs> first off, I'm going to start with this Snow White B pest dispenser. And this Snow White dispenser was released in 2007. And you'll see that Snow White has a Snow White face. And then Snow White's clothes are mainly blue. On the bottom of her sleeve there, there's a little bit of yellow. This Snow White pest dispenser comes on a blue stem, and I point out the sim color because there is a variation in the Snow White pest dispenser. There is also a variation in Snow White's sleeves. So there's another pest dispenser that I cannot find anywhere for sale for the last couple months. I've been looking on eBay and I've been asking lots of people if they have one for sale, and I cannot find one. But there's one that comes with the blue sleeves, so Instead of having that little band of yellow down there, they're all blue sleeves. But this Snow White Pez dispenser with the little yellow band on the bottom of her sleeve there, this is the most popular one that you're going to find like everywhere. The same Snow White Bee Pez dispenser, it also came in this box set. I just love this box set so much that I've never opened it. <laughs> and inside there are the seven dwarves. And then there's Snow White there in the middle. And see how it's the same Snow White dispenser that I just showed you? but Snow White has a yellow stem instead. So there you go, that's a variation. This is a limited edition box set, and this one says that it's number 227,148 out of 250,000 box sets. <laughs> now, that's a lot of box sets, and these aren't worth a whole lot, but they still look really great sitting on your pet shelf, and who knows, maybe over time it'll be worth more, you never know. Here's the back of the box as well. Of course, there's the mirror that you can ask questions. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? You, my queen, are fair, it is true, but little Snow White is still a thousand times fairer than you. It's so cute. What a great movie as well, and what a great Disney princess to start off with. There is one more Snow White pest dispenser. This is the Snow White Sea pest dispenser. This one was released in 2013. These are both retired. This is retired as well. I'll try to remember to tell you that as I'm going, because some of these you still can buy on Pest.com. But I think that Snow White just got a lot cuter. Like this one's pretty cute, but this one's super cute. And I really like the pink color on it. Let's open her up. Take a closer look there at the Snow White Sea Pest Dispenser. I think this is my favorite Snow White Pest Dispenser. She just looks a lot cuter and a little bit more modern. The color of her dress, it almost has like a metallic-y blue color to it. It just really shines, especially under these lights here. And then, of course, you can tell that she comes on the yellow stem. Surprisingly, I did not have this one in my collection. I did have to buy it for this video. So that's one of the reasons I like making these more comprehensive videos because it's so easy just to go, oh, I have all the Snow White dispensers or I have all the Cinderella ones, but you'll see that there's some variations that you might not know about by just watching this video. So hopefully this video helps with your Pez collecting journey. That's it for Snow White. Let's move on to Cinderella. Cinderella the movie was released back in 1950, so we're moving up in time just a little bit. We're going to start with this Cinderella A Pez dispenser, and this one was released in 2005, and this is also retired. And this Cinderella Pez dispenser has a couple variations, so take a closer look here at this. I'm just going to show you the next one and then we'll do a comparison. I think that might be the easiest way. So here's the next Cinderella A Pez dispenser that I have to show you. And on the front there, she looks almost exactly the same. But let me show you side by side comparison. The one on the left is the first one I showed you and then the one on the right is the second Cinderella that I showed you. But you can tell that the colors are just slightly off. The big things I wanted to point out besides the color are her necklace on the left is skinnier or smaller or not as tall than the one on the right. And then if you flip her over to the back, you'll notice that the one on the left has the blue strap that goes across. The one on the right has no strap on the back. So those are the variations of the Cinderella A pest dispenser. And I didn't have the one without the strap on the back, so I did have to go to eBay and find this. And it's hard to find pest dispensers when they have the variations on the back, like the color or the no strap or whatever. So you have to kind of find ones that might be opened or maybe ask people, you know, like, does that have the strap on the back? 
because it's really hard to tell. You can kind of tell based on the necklace. So if you wanted to chance it, you could just look for one with a thicker necklace versus the thinner necklace. So the thicker necklace has no strap on the back. And then the thinner necklace, that one has a strap. <laughs> but it's hard to look for variations a lot of times when the variations are on the back of the Pez. But these are fun variations that are really inexpensive and a great addition, I think, to any Pez collection. I do have Cinderella on a card I wanted to show you. I have this card variation. It has all the Disney princesses there on the side. I also have this carded variation. I think this is the newer card. And then in 2013, Pez released the Cinderella B Pez dispenser. And this one is actually still available on Pez.com. So they've been making this Cinderella B Pez dispenser since 2013. But she has changed a lot. So I already have this Cinderella Pest Dispenser open, so take a closer look there. This Cinderella Pest Dispenser, it's a Cinderella head. And of course she's wearing her blue dress. And she has the same little necklace. I mean, this is pretty much the same design. It's just updated and a little bit cuter. And it almost seems like the paint on her dress has a little bit of a sparkle in it. It's almost kind of like a glossy color, or maybe it has like a little bit of sparkle in it as well. But this Cinderella Pez dispenser is on a light blue stem. I like the older Disney Princess Pez, but I really like when Pez started to update them and modernize them a little bit more. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the Cinderella A and the Cinderella B Pez dispensers, just so you can see how obviously different they are just by looking at them. I'm not gonna, you know, go through each little part, but you can tell that they're different molds. So I think that might help you when you're out looking for the Cinderella Pez, or if you're looking online to buy them. Moving up to 1957 and that's when we get the Sleeping Beauty movie. And in that movie, we're introduced to Aurora. Here's the Aurora A Pest Dispenser and this one was released in 2006. And this specific Pest Dispenser is retired, but this Aurora Pest Dispenser, it's her head. And then she's wearing a pink dress and then the stem is a lighter pink color than her dress, but it looks really nice. Next up is the Aurora B Pest Dispenser. And see how she's changed just a little bit? But this one was released in 2020 and this one is still available on Pez.com. This Aurora B Pest Dispenser, she has the Aurora head and then she's also wearing a pink dress and then her stem is a little bit lighter pink. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the Aurora Pest Dispenser that I previously showed you. She's on the left and then the new one that I just showed you is on the right. And you can see that they're different molds, different colors. They don't even look alike at all. <laughs> These two are really different. It's almost like they even changed the design of Aurora herself, but they're both nice in their own ways. In 1989, that's when we get the Little Mermaid movie, and that's when we get Ariel. And I really love the Little Mermaid movie. That was one of the movies I used to like to watch when I was younger. <laughs> First up, we have the Ariel A Pest Dispenser, and this one was released in 2006 and is now retired. So you cannot no longer find this one on Pez.com, but you can always find all the retired ones on eBay or from Pez sellers or, you know, just look online. You'll find them. This Ariel A Pez dispenser, it's Ariel's head. Of course, she has her signature red hair. She's wearing the pink dress and then the stem is a different pink than her dress, but it looks really nice. And then in 2014, Pez updated the Ariel Pez dispenser, and this is the Ariel B Pez dispenser. And this one is still available. You can buy it on Pest.com right now. And I really like this update a lot just because of the color of Ariel's dress. This Ariel B Pest Dispenser is Ariel's head and then she's wearing a nice green dress and then it's green on it has a metallic look to it, which I think just makes it pop, especially when it's sitting on my Pest display. I really like it a lot. This Ariel Pest Dispenser comes on a lavender stem and of course she's wearing little lavender clamshell earrings, which I like a lot. But look at the difference between these two. The first one I showed you is on the left and then the second one I showed you is on the right. But I mean, look at how different the mold is, the colorings. It's just such a different pest dispenser. And then in 1991, Disney released the Beauty and the Beast movie and that's when we got Belle. But it wasn't until 2005 that we got this Belle A pest dispenser, which is now retired. This Belle A pest dispenser is Belle for the head and then she's wearing a yellow dress and then the stem is a light yellow. I like this one a lot but she also has an update as well. Here's the Belle B pest dispenser and this one was released in 2014 and this one is still available on Pez.com. This Belle B pest dispenser is Belle's head and then she's wearing like a light green 
dress, maybe a little bit of yellow on the bottom. And then the stem is a yellow color. They've updated her so much that she doesn't look anything like the one I just showed you at first either. So the one on the left is the first bell. The one on the right is the second bell that I showed you, but just look at the difference in the mold and the colorings. The stem colors look pretty much the same. The rest of her doesn't even look the same. I mean, like her hair colors aren't even the same. Then in 1992, Disney releases the Aladdin movie, and that's when we get Jasmine as the princess. It wasn't until 2005 that we actually got a pest dispenser for Jasmine. So here's the Jasmine A pest dispenser, and this one is now retired. And there is a variation between this Jasmine pest dispenser and the one I'm going to show you next. So here's another Jasmine A pest dispenser, and she looks almost identical to the one I just showed you. The first Jasmine I showed you is on the left, and then the second one is on the right. There are a couple different differences that I can point out really quick. The one on the left, there's a little curl there in the front on the bottom of her ponytail, and it's painted in. And then the one on the right, you can see that it's not painted in entirely, so it has like a little curl. And then her eyes are painted different as well. I feel like the jewel on her head is a little bit larger painted on the left versus the right. I think that even the teal colors are just slightly different too. I'm sure it's really hard for them to match the paint color. Maybe they wanted to tweak it a little bit. So those are a couple of the differences of these Jasmine Pez dispensers that are kind of fun and easy to look for when you're out shopping for Pez. So these are both retired. And then there's another Jasmine Pez dispenser because of course they have to update it just like all of these. <laughs> So in 2019, Pez gave us another Jasmine A Pez dispenser, and this one's still available on Pez.com. Pretty much they just updated the colors. I'll show you a side-by-side -side comparison of these versus the ones I just showed you. The Jasmine Pez dispensers I just showed you were on the left, and then the updated color one is on the right, but you'll see the colors are updated, especially for her earrings. They're yellow instead of gold. Her necklace is also yellow instead of gold. It looks like the jewel on top of her head is more of a green color now. Just small color differences. This one has the little curl on the bottom painted in again. <laughs> so they kind of reverted back to that. So basically there's three versions of this Jasmine A pest dispenser. We don't get an actual mold update for her. Moving up to 1985, that's when we get the Pocahontas movie. And that's when we get Pocahontas. Here's the Pocahontas pest dispenser. And this one was released in 2008 and is now retired. This Pocahontas pest dispenser is Pocahontas's head. And she's wearing a yellow dress. And then the stem is a teal color, like a darker teal. It's really pretty colors. I really like this Pocahontas pest dispenser a lot. And I guess Pez and Disney liked it a lot too because there are no updates to it. So just a couple years later in 1998, that's when we get the Mulan movie. It took until 2008 for Pez and Disney to make this Mulan pest dispenser. Look at how cute Mulan is. <laughs> this Mulan A pest dispenser is Mulan's head. And then she's got a green outfit on. And then the stem is a really nice blue color. I like the color combination on this Mulan Pez a lot. And again, I guess Disney and Pez really like this one because there is no updated version to Mulan. So if you wanted to buy all these Disney princesses, at least the first versions of them, and you didn't want to buy them separate, you could also buy this gift box set. And look at that, it's got all the Disney princesses in there, the first versions of them. And it comes with all that candy. I like it a lot. Check out the back. It has a little bio about each Disney princess. Looks really nice. In this box set, we have Jasmine, Ariel, Cinderella, Mulan, Pocahontas, Aurora, Belle, and Snow White. So what a really great box set, especially if you really like Disney princesses. There's only four Disney princess pez left. And we're going to move up to 2009. And that's when we get the Princess and the Frog movie, where we finally get Princess Tiana. Here's the Princess Tiana pest dispenser that was released in 2010. Not too soon after the movie was released and she is now retired. But this Tiana pest dispenser is Tiana's head and then she's wearing a green and yellow dress. And then the stem is a nice yellow color. I guess since these last few ones are a lot newer and Disney and Pez knew what they were doing maybe by then, there are no variations of this one. And then in 2010, that's when we get the movie Tangled, and that introduces 
Princess Rapunzel. And there you go, there's the Rapunzel Pest Dispenser that was released in 2011, so just not too long after the movie was released. This Rapunzel Pest Dispenser is Rapunzel's head. She's wearing a purple dress, lots of hair, you know, because Rapunzel has to let her hair down. Also, there's a really cute chameleon in that movie. What a great movie. I mean, all these Disney movies are really great. At least. That's how I remember them. <laughs> but this Rapunzel one is just really good. I liked it a lot. Rapunzel is on a light pink stem. Then in 2012, Disney released the Brave movie. And then in 2013, not too long after the movie was released, we got Merida as a pest dispenser. And look at that little red hair. <laughs> I love this one. What a fun movie as well. This Merida pest dispenser is her head and then of course her red wavy curly hair and then her dress is blue and she's wearing like a little black cloak I guess you would call it. And then her stem is a really dark olive green which I really like the color combination of this with her red hair and then the green stem and then like the blue and the black in her outfit. And then the last Disney movie that was released is Mona and that was released in 2016. And I can't believe we haven't had a Disney princess since 2016, but we haven't. So in 2020, Pez released this Mona Pez dispenser just a couple years after the movie was released. I don't know what took them so long because I know this movie was super popular when it came out. But this Mona Pez dispenser is Mona's head and she's wearing a red dress and then her stem is a really light brown color. And there's only one variation of her as well. One of the reasons I made this video is like I said, it really helps me figure out what Pez are missing in my collection. But also Pez International is going to be releasing an updated version for Cinderella and Snow White and I have a picture here of what those are going to look like because they're in the Pez International catalog. These are supposed to be released sometime in May but we haven't gotten them yet and May is already halfway over so maybe we'll be getting them any day now. But here's the picture, there's Cinderella there and look how different Cinderella looks. Just the mold itself and then she's also wearing a light blue dress and a light blue stem but it's different colors than these lighter blue ones, at least the pictures. Snow White is also getting an update and she also looks different than her Snow White mold here. So that will be a Snow White C and it'll be a Cinderella C as well. So that's three variations for both of those. So I wonder if we'll eventually get more and more of these. <laughs> Look at how different she looks than this Snow White pest dispenser. Just her clothes colors even are just a lot darker. And then again, she's on the yellow stem. Hopefully this video is helpful for you and you learn that there are some different variations in some of these Disney princess pets. Or maybe you didn't even know about some of the Disney princesses that exist because there are just so many of them. And unless you're a huge Disney fan, you might not know about all of them. And then unless you're a really big Pez variation fan, <laughs> you might not know about all the variations. So hopefully this video is helpful. And if you want to see more behind the scenes of what I'm up to during the week, follow me on TikTok or Instagram. I'm Aaron Clucks Pez on both of those. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, hit that subscribe button. And I'll be making more videos just like this. I do a lot of unboxing videos. I show a lot of Pez that just came out. I do a lot of like these more comprehensive videos like you saw today. Or I show off vintage Pez dispensers. Anything that will help you learn more about Pez collecting, that's the videos that I make. And if you enjoyed this video today, just give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye. I write to you in poetry with words left on the shelf. Full of dust, you'll know.